welcome to another exciting video. We have had a massive bounce right now in the market. Everybody's very, very relaxed about that. Are we really going to get bullish from here? Or the market is going to remain in the same regions that we had discussed even yesterday. Um, clarity had a massive upside, very, very good volume. Things look very, very good to start off with. But my concern right now is we did come all the way to 4,145. Ideally, we need to break uh, 41,500. 400 at least in those regions at least we break above this point so we are not considered in a lower high position and you know we do we want to have a higher high and not a lower high in order to have that we need to break above these zones obviously once we do break above this then we have to have in some kind of upside coming bringing us back into 42 500 regions that is very very important for us right now in this market overall if we do want to consider other things dxy still bumping hard still going very very hard usdt still pretty hard going still very very hard would i do want to break above these regions but we have failed to do so if we get into further details which coins do i feel like have recovered really, really well in this short bounce that we have recently in the market have to be solana solana was just trading around 90 dollars to 100 dollars has come back into the regions of 101 dollar overall avax is still trading in the same regions we saw a massive upside, especially on Luna. Luna came back on $90 very, very quickly. As you can see here, Luna had a very good bounce. And right now we are also forming a bullish flag. Obviously, if we do break above this bullish flag, we are going to become very, very bullish. But the up upside is possible here for sure. So if we have that upside, we will come back in the regions of $105, $106, coming back in the support levels of $103. That would be a very, very bullish sign for us. Bubbles look extremely good. Most of the bubbles are performing really, really well. GMT is up about 39% right now. Luna is up about 13.7% right now. Ne is up about 12% right now. Zcash is up about 14% right now. Rune had a good upside as well. It's up about 15% right now. But overall, we have had seen a very good healthy bounce right now in the market. My concern only is that we don't want to be in a situation we are making a lower high we want to make a higher high and avoid getting into lower positions so that is very very important right now for us to have in the markets second thing we want to get into right away has to be our fear and greed index we're just trading in the same regions yesterday we were at 24 earlier the week we were at 28 last week we we're at 20 today we are trading about at 27 and liquidation data contract positions gray positions block orders look all right but overall if you want to see 51.41 percent short positions in 24 hours and even in one hour everybody is now beginning to get very very bearish in short position uh, block trades so about 42 to 57 percent that is uh, all right more bearish sentiment right now in block trades we see long and short ratio global data about 53.4 percent people are in long positions in 24 hours in one hour we have about even stevens not much difference 54 to 45 percent that's, that's all right Overall, we can check out the markets, popular coins, market sentiments. Uh, everything is pretty much neutral. Uh, things to watch out for is funding rates have gone negative. Yesterday, we were positive. That's when we had a massive upside. Now, the funding rates have gone negative. That's when we are having some kind of consolidation period where we have become sideways. So, this is our two things we really need to watch out for right now in these markets. And obviously, if you want to get into our startups, We've had a massive upside in some of the startups. Winners just started recently. Uh, Brawler blockchain, uh, blockchain brawlers is about 867% up right now. I'm sure all of you guys would really like these kind of upsides and these kind of gains in any kind of coins because come on, I don't think you can get it anywhere else just other than Gator.io. So you want to see what is happening in these coins as well. Winners just started. Winners went all the way up from nearly to six eight nine cents and right now started all the way at the bottom at about one cent and went all the way to about 69 cents that is a massive upside as well now it's just been having some correction just having some pullback which is very very necessary we had a massive upside in one hour candle volume was also very very reasonable so that is all right i'm sure everybody who participated in this one is already a winner next one we had blockchain brawlers blockchain brawlers also had a very clear upside went up to 870 percent as we speak right now just been consolidating in these regions that's all right that's pretty normal for us and is also kind of making a bull flag we can expect some upside to be coming from this bull flag let's see whether we're gonna have that upside or not or we're just gonna stay in these regions for now overall a lot of coins are looking good so if you do want to get into these newly listed startup coins, all you have to do is click in the link given in the description below, join gate.io and join this opportunity as well of getting into these amazing coins and I'm sure you're going to love that.
next up we have to get into the news so in the news the first thing we can see is gold prices are skyrocketing right now gold is just going all the way up gold prices climb above 2000 for the first time since march 10th next thing we have very interesting right now in the market is dollar index passes 101 for the first time since march 2022 so we can see a lot of correlation going on here march 10 march 2022 and we know why that all happened in march because of the covid coronavirus it spread around the world next thing we have feds buller 3.5 percent is the minimum feds fund rate needed can't do it all at once but should try to get there by the end of the year so this is something also we need to watch out for everybody's talking about fed is increasing gonna be continuously increasing basis points so we have to be, be very very certain about it and very very sure that we don't get caught in all that fud that is happening in the market so that's the reason can't be extremely bullish right now can't be extremely bearish right now we're almost a month away from the fed's next meeting where they're going to be increasing the rate hikes so we just have to be very very cautious while taking trades or even seeing especially big money right now in the market last news we have for us is us 10-year treasury yield tops 2.9 percent for the first time since december 2018 so a lot of factors that are right now surrounding the market are all from the regions of when pre-covid or when the covid was about to hit the world or was about to start so a lot of similarities we're seeing right now in all those ratios right now so we'd have to be very very cautious about that next up we want to get into rune so otherwise we can check some other coins while reaching rune as well we are seeing a good upside coming right now in theta theta is up about one percent um that's good b chain is up about nearly two percent so that is a very good upside as well so if you want to get and look into rune so rune has had that good upside had a very good bounce overall we can even see a double bottom here failed to have a breakout above but now we are consolidating in the region so that looks very very good so overall we can have some upside to be coming in rune but obviously we are making some kind of peanut bull flag here if we do break above this flag then ideally we want to have a situation where we do come back into the regions of at least ten dollars right now we are stuck in the in a range so let me draw the land range for you as well so you can understand it a lot better we're going to take a horizontal ray so this is the first range and this is the second range that we are clearly stuck right now in we need to break these ranges so we can at least feel like that we have gone very very bullish or bearish right now in the market overall we can't judge anything until or unless we have a clear breakout on btc breaking 42 500 like we've discussed uh, earlier so that is very very important right now we're clearly stuck in this range we want to break above this range in rune as well to have some kind of clear breakout so if you are looking into taking trades in rune you can at least get into some trade here if we blow break below this then obviously you need to you know either short the market or however you feel like because then there is no point taking trades or even dcing because the likeliness is that rune is going to come down Overall, if we look at some other coins as well, Nair is up right now, almost 4.5% on trading view. Overall, on coin uh, on crypto bubbles, we saw that it's up about nearly 15% in the day. So that is some good sign as well. We can clearly see that upside right now in Nair as well. Bounce from weekly uptrend line. So that is a very, very good sign. Usually, when the coins do do that, that is usually a very, very bullish sign in the markets as well. Sand is also pumping. Z is also pumping. They're up about 33%. That is something good to see. Uh, some kind of big movement coming into Metaverse and utility tokens as well. XCAD is up right now about 4%. So like I said, utility tokens are performing really well right now. We usually have more demand than normal coins. Uh, that's the reason they usually perform better as well. So that is something you have to understand. That's the reason I always advise you need to invest in utility based coins or metaverse or play to earn games because they have more users coming into them as something happens. Stocks look all right. Stocks are also having a very good rebound now yesterday we saw a relationship where commodities were pumping and everything was in pullback today we're seeing that commodities are in a pullback while everything else is pumping so i guess that would be something good for you guys to understand this relationship we have between the markets because this is very very important to understand that we have this inverse relationship in the market when something is pumping the other side would be you know having some kind of correction or pullback because obviously nobody have enough money in the world to bring it and pump everything they would want in the markets it's practically just impossible now we want to see into higher high high structure especially in daytime frames and clearly see we had a lower low here we had a higher high higher low higher high and now we are in a similar situation here, especially in ETH. Looks okay, looks very, very good. We're expecting somewhere in the regions of 205. But overall, we are still making some kind of bear flag, especially in the daytime frames. Even if you don't want to count this week, especially 
that looks like a bear flag we have liquidated a lot of long positions while we came down and now we had to clear upside probably there were a lot of long orders there that's the reason also the market came down or maybe some whale wanted to accumulate some orders you never know uh, next thing we can see here is btc and we are having a similar situation in btc as well we have a lower low higher high higher low higher high and now we are probably facing another new higher low that would be an interesting place to have overall we did come all the way near to the week that was around 3800 38500 uh and about we were expecting about in the regions of 37000 but we failed to do so we had a clear upside from that good volume came in considering on the day, daily time frames usually don't see big volume you can see it in the previous data as well so there's definitely some kind of big buying happening right now in the markets and that's something we have to really, really watch out for so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like today's video if you do smash the like button share your thoughts in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to my channel share the video with your friends and i'm gonna be here again tomorrow see you guys